So despite these difficult markets, you posted a, a pretty good first half uh, net income. Is that a trend that's going to continue? Yes, absolutely. We are really on track to deliver a net income for the end of 2019 that will exceed the one of 2018. So we will deliver a net income exceeding 4 billion euros for this year and paying an 80% cash dividend. We will remain a cash dividend machine that will be the best in Europe by definition. I mean, you're also speeding up the bank's cleanup. So talk to me a little <coughs> bit about what you're expecting in terms of the bank's NPL ratio. So uh, NPL ratio in, in Italy San Paolo made an incredible reduction in the last years because we reduced by 33 billion euros the amount of non-performing loans of the stock at zero cost for our shareholders and now we are at 3.6 percent NPL ratio that is comparable with the best in class considering that we have zero level three level two assets so for, for, for the, the risky profile of the group we are really the best in Europe also considering that we have a common equity tier one ratio 13.9 percent so are, are, are there any action other actions that you're taking so I mean, we, there's this we, deal that was announced just yes we, we made we made a, a, a deal with uh, Preli yeah. on the on the unlikely to pay market uh, that is the second after the one that we made with interim on bad loans so bad loans is in the in the management of interim and unlikely to pay will be in the management of prelios but with uh, a, a reduction because we made the disposal of 3 billion euros uh, gross uh, non-performing loans unlikely to pay and so we are now concentrating on avoiding that performing loans can come back into non-performing loans so the point of of our uh, effort now is to put people in order not to recreate non-performing loans. Um, Carlo Messina, since you've taken over, your strategy has been crystal clear and you haven't really deviated from that, right? You're betting on private banking, asset management insurance to increase income. In a time where it's pretty difficult for banks in general, are you still sticking to that strategy and are you looking for acquisitions in those three segments? So we are for sure a leader in wealth management, that, that by definition, and we are continuing to grow because uh, is taking momentum in Italy now, net inflows in asset under management with the reduction of the spread of BDP moon. So now we are coming back on, on wealth management issue. We are leader in, in cost efficiency because we have 49% cost income ratio. So cost uh, reduction of cost uh, is very important for us. Uh, now we are in a situation in, in the country in which spread, in my view, is too high to think about something to make uh, in asset under management field. So the valuation of these assets in Italy is too poor in comparison on to the fundamental of the country right. so for the time being I'm really concentrating to deliver and execute the yeah. business plan and then when situation will come back to normality it is possible to do something different when do you think that will change so I think that uh, that the, 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 the real turning point could be the end of this year so after the budget law because uh, uh, trend uh, is for for a, a, a clear reduction in interest rate due to ECB Fed uh, and so this uh, this will bring our spread in the country down mm -hmm. then politicians uh, they have to do their, their their job and their part but my expectation is spread can continue to go down so for the end of the year we can be more or less at the level of 150 basis points. 